Hey all, I wanted to talk to you today a little bit about weaving and picking the right size dent heddle for your rigid heddle loom. Now, obviously, if you have an Ashford loom, you want to get Ashford heddles. And if you have a shack loom, you want to get shacked heddles. And you want to make sure that you're getting the correct size for your loom. Beyond that, you want to know that you're getting the correct read or dent size. Now, I'm just going to grab the tendon here because this is the most common. On most looms, there's something written on them about what dent size. Um, on the shacked, they're kind of imprinted in here. But somewhere on the heddle, most companies put what dent it is. If you can't find it or you're not sure how to do it, you would take your ruler and put it on here. And let's see, zero starts right here. So I count one, two, three, four. Can you see what I'm counting? I'm counting the holes and the slots. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That slid a little bit. But ten dents. So there's ten places for my yarn to go on this particular heddle. And that's what that means. So now you know what the dents mean. But there's a wide range of dents. So for this company, this is Ashford, and I chose them because they have a wide range. You can see that one's really, really tiny. And this one's really, really not tiny. So you can see these two together. This is the 2.5, and this is the 15 right here. So that's vastly different. And you want to know, well, what yarn do I use with it? And that's what's really important is how do you figure out what yarn? So I did a video um, getting started weaving with your hand spun. And in that one, we talked about using the wraps per inch guide to tell you. And so that's like, I have a little ruler here. This is my silly little um, ruler that we gave away a long time ago. But I would not super tight, just kind of normally wrap my yarn around. And I want it all to not be you know, I don't want it all to be kind of loose, uh, but I, and I don't want it to be uh, wrapped on top of one another. I want it to be nice and next to itself. Can you see how that is? And then I would count them and that's just off right there. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10 from one end. So one line here to one line here. We have 10. And if I take that number 10, divide it by two, I get the number five. And that means that this yarn will do a balanced weave on a five dent. So if you want to do a balanced weave, and that's what we're talking about today is balanced weave. We're not talking about anything fancy or crazy. Balanced weave is a great place to get started and to try to figure out what you're doing. So Let's just go with balanced weave, five dent. That's what this bulky yarn is gonna be used best on, five dent, because I had 10 wraps per inch on my little ruler thing. So to learn more about wraps per inch, head on over to the weaving with your hand spun video. That'll give you more information. Otherwise, I'm just gonna break this down really simple balanced weave. We're going to go through all of these heddles, these dents that I have, and I'm going to pair them up with yarns for you. So let's get started. We're going to start with the two and a half. Not all companies make this. Um, the two and a half and the 15, um, not everybody makes, but I have a two and a half here. This is huge for two and a half. And all the yarns I'm pairing up are Spunky Eclectic Yarns because that's what I've got here. So uh, this is Mammoth by Spunky Eclectic. And you can see how fat and giant this yarn is. It's massive. It is huge. So it's really big 
it's chunky and it would go really well in two and a half. So super bulky is two and a half. And then we have the five. Most companies have a five dent. And for the five dent, like we just did with this pink yarn, this is Targi Biggie. And this goes very well with that. So bulky yarn for the five dent. And you know, all that information is going to be down below, right? Ashford has seven and a half instead of eight dents. So some companies will have eight dents. Some will have seven and a half. They're pretty interchangeable. I mean, you know that there's a little difference there, but seven and a half is considered for worsted yarn. So Targi Classic is for seven and a half. And yes, this is green, but this was a promotional color that Ashford did a while back and uh, they don't have it in green anymore. They're all in that kind of clearish white color. So seven and a half, eight worsted. And we have the 10. The 10 is the one that I use most often and I will use it on all kinds of things, whether they're balanced or not. Uh, it's one of my favorite things to do, unbalanced weaves, but we're just talking about balanced weaves. So if we're doing a balanced weave, sport weight. This is Mountain Sport, and this will work great with a tendon. And do, 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 12 and a half. So let's see, there's stickers on here that are kind of covering all that up. Okay. So. 12 and a half and 12 and a half is generally considered something that you would use fingering weight on. So I have a ton of fingering weight to choose from. I just chose Glimmer in one of my favorite colors because it's just a sock yarn and I'm really kind of hot for this hot pink right now. So 12 and a half fingering weight. Now this is the next one is 15. And not a lot of companies have the 15. It's a little delicate. I have to say these um, heddles are a little bit lighter weight. They're a little bit more delicate. You can see that they move really easily. Uh, but you would use like a light fingering. I probably wouldn't go as far as a lace weight with it because lace is quite a bit lighter. Uh, but maybe a heavy lace weight or a light fingering is what you'd want to use with a 15 dent. And uh, I have Cloudfoot, which is, uh, I consider it a fingering weight, but it does, it is, feels really light. It's a little bit lighter than the Glimmer. So I might use that in the 15 dent for a balanced weave. So. That's it. That's all the rigid heddles that I have and all the dent sizes that I have. And that's a place for you to get started from. So if you've got yarn sitting there and you need a heddle, match it up. If you've got heddles sitting there and you don't have yarn, go shopping. So this will kind of give you an idea of where to start. And if you continue to have questions about it, as always, uh, message me and I'll help you find the right heddle and the right yarn for the balanced weave. And uh, make sure to subscribe because at some point I'll be doing um, more weaving demos and talking about not balanced weaves, which is one of my favorite things is to not do a balanced weave, to do something that's a little funky and a little different. Okay, everybody. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.